Thank you for joining me for this watercolor portrait painting. If you want to learn with me, you can come to join us at patreon.com Chen. During my painting process, I would like you to think about what are the differences between painting babies and older people? And what do I change from the photo reference? I'm going to start from watercolor sketch. Let's take a look at the bottom over here. That's good. Now take a look at the front and then coming down, see a little bit like that. And also you can see another shape coming down over here and curve over. Make one little decision at a time. Some loose hair like that. Don't worry about the details. We get to the detail a little bit later. Okay, that's, this is the drawing proportion. I'm using this one inch flat brush. It's almost like a, just the red color with lots of water. This is the skin color. You see, using the larger brush, make it a lot more consistent. To be only the three primary colors, it makes it much easier to analyze. You want to be dark a little bit gray, you have to mix the blue color, right? I'm looking for light side and the shadow side. It's very important. The bottom I have a little bit more yellow because the shirt affected by is the color underneath. So don't even think about, oh, this is a girl. Okay, just think about what color, how dark's the color, where are the color. Now I'm use a smaller brush and I'm going to get a little bit yellow orange color. That's the, the yellow shirt. Okay, you got it like this. A little bit lower, like that, that's good. And all right, now we just finish the first step, setting up the foundation color, yeah, a little red orange color. I'm gonna see that color very, very beautiful and bright. I'm gonna set that color over here, that's beautiful. And also right under, it has that color on here too, okay, like that. Yeah, set that color over there. And I'm gonna use the clean brush, to drag the color over. Now I'm gonna come into do the eye and the nostril and the mouth and the painting will be there. It's very important to build up the form as soon as you can, the blue and the red together. Okay, this is a dark color. Okay, let's take a look at this eye. Now take a look right here. And we see that, look at it again. Okay, here you go. That is the right place, like this, the eyelashes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. The eye, look at it again, the iris sitting right here. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit, more blue, little bit more blue, it looks too warm. Okay, drop the color in, yeah, and here you go, just a little triangle. Now you can look at the eye white is not really dark, it's actually it's the, right, the right color. I'm gonna have a little bit lighter, a little bit brownish for the line on the top. So, relaxing, okay. Let's go with step by step, everything in the step. Okay, the line coming here. That's good, in the corner over here, like that, and see a little bit line on the lower eyelid. Now you see that, oh, here we go. We're getting the eye. Okay, we're not drawing the eye, we draw a couple shapes. We're not actually building a baby either. We just draw the shape to convince this is a baby. Okay, a little bit softer over here. Keep looking for the light, the color, the value. Okay, 
that's almost there. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit warmer, a little bit orange color, right on the outside over here. Okay, I'm using the tip facing to the uh, to the dark area, and then under here I need to have a little bit darker too, so you can see how all the form connected. It's all in the process. The process is very important. This is what you're gonna learn. And take the process to make your own expression. That will be later. So if I first learn how to create the art with the simple process. Okay, now we're also seeing the top over here. Still need a little bit darker. Like I put that, it's look, look like an eyebrow, right, right over here. And then coming down over here, connect that too. That's good. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna soften that a little bit. While we're working on that, the ear over here gonna drive. And then we can come back to reshape it, okay? And while we're doing this, we also need to clear and soften that, the lifting and softening. And by using this flat brush is give us lots of freedom. I search for this for a long, long time. And I know this will work for you too. Okay, and you're gonna have a little bit more red. And here you go, this, a little bit softer, like that. Okay, that's good. And right under the eye, at the corner over here, also need to be a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna make that a little bit lighter. Just use the corner of this brush. And for you, when you have time, you can continue, continuously and fine tune it. Okay, and making it look finished and polished. Okay, look at the nostril, looking for the shape. So you don't have to looking for so much thing at once. You're just looking at one thing at a time. Okay, a little bit over here, like that. That's good. A little bit lighter color. Here you go. Now, take a look right here underneath. Okay, here we go. Look at it. What's the angle? Here you go. Rush, don't rush. Coming over here, start a little turn. Okay, that's good. And when we're doing this, we have some a little bit soft transition. I'm gonna have this color start over here and then blend it over. I think it may be too dark, or maybe not. Okay, let's see. Okay, now I'm gonna use just the water. Have a soft transition into the cheek. Okay, yeah, much better, much better transition. Okay, that's good, like that. I'm gonna soften that color. Okay, that's very well. We come back to do uh, the mouth. Let's take a look at the ear. Let's see, and from here, now we need to Coming down a little bit, okay, like this. And this is the new ear. Okay, the top over here, is this the top? That's good, now we start adding some shape inside the ear. That's good, like that. Very soft. And take a look at in over here. Here you go. Now the shape. Now the shape inside the ear. Okay, here you go. Like this. A little bit darker. And that's good. Look absurd and make the decision. Like this. Have a little bit yellow. That's just the catch the shadow. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna define that a little bit more. Why don't we do something right here? Okay, have a little bit darker. And just put that in here. 
Okay, we have some here over here coming out like this. And the outside here. Yeah, do that a little bit more. We come back. Okay, now we are ready to come back to do the mouth again. Now first, I'm gonna have a little red color. You see the lip color right here. That's good. That's good. At the same time, I'm gonna have a little bit darker brown color. And for the lower lip. And when we put that really dark color and it will look finished. Like that. And the other side coming this way, like that. To the corner. Oh, that's good. And I can also have a little bit deeper color and a little bit more yellow. Looking for think about the value before I think about even the color. Okay, here you go. Oh, a little bit darker, but how much the red? How much the blue? Hey, okay, it's a habit. Okay, here you go. That coming out. That's good. Like expand it. Use the water. Extend it. That's good. Now I'm gonna have a little gray color in the middle. Like that is from the nose coming down. Okay, that's good. That already good enough for that. I think the nose also have a little bit red and orange color. Expand it into here. That's good. Okay. Okay, like that. And have a little bit color under the nose that have a little bit yellowish feeling right over here. Yeah, and here you go. A little bit red. And showing here you go connect that oh that's pretty good the nose it's almost there and I'm going to give a little bit eyelashes to the eye I'm going to take a little bit dark color but very little color okay you don't need that much okay now I'm going to have a couple line very thin here you go That's good. Make it look like eyelashes. That's good. And we're waiting for the ear to drive. We'll come back to refine the ear. But right now, in the inside over here, why don't I make a little bit darker color in the top over here, expand it. Also, I have a little bit brighter uh, orange brown color right here. Like that. That's good. And I'm waiting for that to dry. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look at the hair. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow color over here. Here you go. Like that. You see the turn? Some hair coming all the outside. I'm gonna have a little bit pinky color. Okay, very little pinky color. Here you go. A little flower like that. And have a little bit darker, you know. And have a little bit suggesting a little flower here like that and here little, like a little bit like that it's simple and I put a couple of things it will look like oh yeah that's the thing yeah that's the thing I remember okay all right so this is will be the end of our demonstration if you would like to watch the full version of this painting lesson, you can come to join us at patreon.com Chen, and let me know what you think about the differences between painting babies and older people. Please share with me your thoughts in a comment. I will looking forward to see you in my next video.